Now, an American tour operator has been sentenced to 15 years hard labor in North Korea. Kenneth Pei was arrested in November and has been accused of hostile acts against the government. Well, for more on this, we can go to Harry Fawcett. He's in the South Korean capital, Seoul, for us. It's an interesting case, this one, Harry. What more do we know about this American man? Well, we know he's 44 years old, that he was born here in South Korea. Uh, his usual place of residence in the, in the United States is Washington State, but that he was a tour operator based uh, for a large extent of the time in China and had traveled several times before to North Korea. Uh, now, this most recent trip was made on November the 3rd to the border city, the industrial special economic zone of Rasson, uh, with, we understand, five other tourists. And it's during that trip that he was picked up by North Korean authorities and was accused of hostile acts against the D Democratic People's Republic of Korea, eventually charged with trying to overthrow the government. Now, in a statement towards the end of December, the first time that North Korea admitted that they had this man in custody, the North Koreans said that uh, he had admitted his crimes under questioning. Uh, then on Saturday, there was confirmation that his case would be heard in the Supreme Court, that he faced a potential death penalty. Now we have word that this case was heard on Tuesday Tuesday this week and he was handed down this extremely severe sentence 15 years hard labor and Harry should we be reading anything into the timing of this announcement well certainly it comes at a time when tensions seem to be cooling on the peninsula uh, the US South Korean military exercises officially ended on Tuesday the very the very day that this court case was heard there's been less of the kind of very belligerent rhetoric that we've been been getting from Pyongyang in terms of threatening preemptive nuclear strikes against the United States and South Korea and so on so there are some who are looking at this and saying that this might be a way that North Korea is trying to stage something to encourage engagement with the United States certainly in 2009 when the journalists uh, Yuna Lee and Laura Ling both Americans as well were arrested for allegedly crossing illegally into North Korea from China that resulted in a 12-year hard labor sentence for them. That resulted in the visit of Bill Clinton, the former president, and he ended up uh, negotiating their release and taking them home. Now, the other way to look at it is that this happened before this current round of hostilities. At least the arrest of Kenneth Pei happened before this round of hostilities on November the 3rd. Um, it pre preempted the uh, launch of the rocket in December and indeed the nuclear test in February. So it could be that this is uh, seen as a serious case by the North Korean judicial system or by, by, the, by the government in North Korea that he did do something in their view uh, worthy of a 15-year sentence. Uh, whatever the case, uh, this is going to be extremely seriously viewed in Washington. Uh, the State Department has been playing this fairly low-key in the preceding months, but after the announcement on Saturday about a po possible death sentence, they did call for his immediate release on humanitarian grounds. That's been uh, repeated today by the embassy here in Seoul. And so we will have to see some kind of uh, very uh, public reaction, I expect, out of Washington, D.C. when the United States wakes up in a few hours. Mm, indeed, we'll be following that closely. Thank you, Harry Fawcett in Seoul. Thanks for now.